call my brother Sensei. Something horrible just happened. Did you hear? A man, a car, two explosions right here downtown. I want you all to lie low for a few days. Turn off the lights, lock the doors. I want you to fold the curtain in that special way where you can see outside, but no one else can look in. I wait for the instructions, but I want you all to remember that our goal is to blend in. So transform yourselves into representatives. Smile at everyone and everything you see. If someone opens the door for you, I want you to say, thank you, very loud. I want you to whisper on subways, laugh quietly <coughs> at movie theaters. I want you to remember that every flash of sunlight is a camera lens, every gust of wind is the static of the surveillance system. You are not safe anywhere. So do not attract anyone's Attention. Do not attract anyone's attention. Repeat after me. Do not attract anyone's attention. You think this is a joke, right? You think this is a joke. Because just last night, as I was walking home, I was in fact on the bus stop when I saw a guy standing and swaying in front of a display window. He was holding a packet of french fries in his hands. Cradling it, as if he was a baby bear. He slurred something, but then I kept walking. I was just on my normal route home. So I just proceeded when I saw a police car. I mean, the sirens were off so they wouldn't attract anyone's attention, but you, you and I can tell that something was wrong. Because one of the other guys has already turned his head toward the shoulder <coughs> to call for backup. The other guy had his hand on his holster. The guy they had caught was pressed up against the railing. <laughs> He looked afraid. I saw the color of his eyes and his hair and I thought to myself, enough is enough. The policemen stood with him with their backs towards me. They were crowding the guy and he was my brother. He needed my help. They already asked to see his license plate. They suspected drugs or smuggling or bodies or something. They'd already call for backup. And soon the dogs will be here, and the horses, and the bulletproof vests, the visors, the helicopters, the baton. I walked closer towards the guy. And then I remembered. I remembered the cops that jumped on Buddha's cousin and beat him bloody with the butt of their baton. I remember the ones that hurt Nashim Shin and then accused him of assault on a police officer. I remember Mirabel's sister. Mirabel's sister that wasn't allowed into the soul club and when she screamed discrimination, the security called the police and the police mysteriously found drugs in her bag. Someone who's never done any type of drug in her life before. She said after they filed her sentence, after she'd paid all the fines, after she'd been nervous that her next employer is going to look up her criminal record, she said the thing that, was, that upset her the most was when she looked at them and then said to them, I am being framed. They looked back at her and smiled as if to say, yes, you are. But what are you going to do about it? I remember the cops that attacked our brothers and sisters, even my own sister. I remember the ones that beat her bloody. And then I looked back to the guy. 
He was gesticulating widely. He didn't know Swedish, so he was just standing there. And I saw the reflection of the mother and the child in the car. I saw the mother step one foot on the road. She was begging, pleading, crying for someone to help. And I watched. And I stood there. And I did nothing. I stood there, brothers, and I did nothing. No, not today. <laughs> Forget everything I said. Fuck the silence. Fuck invisibility. I want you to trade your anonymous clothes for neon colored grass skirts. I want you to decorate yourselves with glimmering Christmas ornaments. I want you to march in front of demonstrations. I want you to blow the whistle. I want you to fight for the rights of idiots to be idiots until you lose your voice, until you die, until they realize that there is an opposition, until they know that we do not long to go back to a made-up past, until they know that we fight proudly for a future filled with dissolved bodies. Until they know that we will continue to fight so that no clock can ever be turned back to the time when we were oppressed. Until they know that we are not afraid. We are not afraid. Right? Come on, say it, say it after me. We are not afraid. We are not afraid. Right? We are not. Come on. We are not afraid. I am not afraid. Get ready, brothers, because now, now it begins. <laughs>